This screencast covers the material from Module 3, Lesson 14. Uh, it's going to cover just a portion of the practice set, problems 1A through D. This is a very difficult lesson, so I'm going to have a series of screencasts to give you some help with it. This will uh, give you all the assistance that we can. I'll include another one with portions of the problem set, except for the word problems, and I'll make a third screencast giving you some help with the homework as well. Okay, let's start. Uh, what we're supposed to do here is strategize to solve. Uh, mentally, theoretically, I don't think most of us are at that level yet, but this one's a fairly simple one, so let's start here. And let's look at the expression. I have one-fourth plus two-thirds plus seven-fourths plus one-third. Well, since this is addition, we can uh, we can change the order of these addends in any way we want. And it's, it's uh, very simple to reason this one. Naturally, we want to work with our common denominators first if we can. So, let's, uh, let's do that. I'm going to put my fourths together. So I have one-fourth plus seven-fourths plus two and two-thirds plus one-third. We don't need to, but we can just bracket these here. We'd get the same uh, sum anyway, but this uh, tells us to work with the like terms first. So if I have 1 fourth plus 7 fourths, I have 8 fourths. If I have 2 and 2 thirds plus 1 third, I have 3. I can further simplify this uh, 8 fourths to 2, so I have 2 plus 3 and that equals 5. Let's go on to the next one. They tend to get a little bit more complex as we go on. All right, B. We have 2 and 3 fifths minus 3 fourths plus 2 fifths. Well, if I am going to subtract and then add this back, I could just bring this up to the front here because I'm going to end up with the same thing. And I also notice that we have common denominators here. So again, if I am just going to subtract and add this back, I could just put it, combine it with my original uh, minuend in this case. So let's uh, do that. So I have 2 and 3 fifths plus 2 fifths minus 3 fourths. I know that 2 and 3 fifths plus 2, or plus 2 fifths equals 2 and 5 fifths, which is the same as 3. 3 minus 3 fourths, 2 and 1 fourth. Okay, moving along to yet more complex. This one we are just going to subtract, right? We're doing 4 and 3 sevenths minus 3 fourths minus 2 and 1 fourth minus three-sevenths. Well, I know that I can group these two together, and then I can add them, and that would give me the same effect. It's kind of like those problems where we have the uh, tape diagram that looks somewhat like this. And we might have two fractions here and a question mark, and we could subtract these twice or we can add them first, then subtract it from my original number. Just to show you how the reasoning works. So, I am going to take this, and I'm going to have 4 and 3 sevenths minus 3 sevenths. Now I'm going to subtract the sum of 3 fourths and 2 and 1 fourth. Because what I'm doing is I'm lumping these two together then subtracting them all at once. So we have 4 and 3 sevenths minus 3 sevenths is 4 minus the sum of 3 fourths and 2 and 1 fourth. Well I know that 3 fourths plus 2 and 1 fourth is 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. On to another. 
Now here we have a mix of operations. And again we can see at the end here, at the end we are simply going to add this 1 6. So again we can add this 1 6 right to the front here and then we can uh, do the rest of our operations. Now I also noticed that we have thirds here as well. So let's start by writing 5 6 plus 1 6. Then we can put plus 1 third minus 4 thirds. And now the sum of these two numbers is 1 plus 1 third minus 4 thirds. And 1 and 1 third minus 4 thirds. And 1 and 1 third and 4 thirds are the same. So I could convert this to 4 thirds over or 4 thirds minus 4 thirds, or I could go the other way around with my mixed numbers, and I get a 0. Okay, these correspond pretty closely to what you see in your problem, problem set. Uh, 1a in the problem set should correspond to 1a in the homework, etc. We'll make another screencast for the other portion of this uh, homework.